for our attendees, like the top one or two things that uh, small business owners and entrepreneurs can do today uh, from your perspective to like level up their business or find success? Hmm. Do you have any thoughts, Carl? Today. Today, let me let me ponder on it. <laughs> <laughs> I actually feel like I'm just gonna fly the the Instagram flag again I because know. if you're not on there, you can literally go and grab your own Instagram handle now and get your business on there and make sure that you're selecting business profile, not operating under a personal profile. Um, and not operating as a creator, that's a third option. The creator profile is really only if you are going to brand yourself as an influencer that creates content for other brands. And there may be some people here that are like, oh yeah, that's what I do. Well then yes, you're a creator profile, but I feel like the majority of people here in this summit would fit under the business category. And that's super important because that's what gives you access to all of those really cool Instagram features like adding the, the Instagram shop, if you sell a physical product, um, you know, Instagram analytics, um, all sorts of things, the ability to run ads as well. Uh, that's really powerful. So yeah, I would be jumping on and grabbing your Instagram presence for sure. Love it. Great and tactile. Go ahead, go ahead, Carl. Yeah. I mean, um, Mine's more about the, it's more about the mind. Oh, yes. About Let's the go mind. there. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's something that's really worked well for me. So I'll just say, you know, for me personally, it's something I do every day. And you can start doing this um, is to like, we all get stuck in the weeds of business and especially if things are uh, being a little frustrating or confusing or unpredictable or, you know, all of this stuff that's, that's happening in and around COVID. Um, you know, one thing that, that grounds me when I'm thinking, you know, you're deep in a strategy or there's a project that you could do or whatever. I just always ask myself the question now is like, what would this look like if it was simple? Mm. You know, uh, or Love what it. would this look like if it was easy? And I think like that very question to yourself, it helps you step back and try and simplify something that often you're making very complex when it doesn't need to be. And then you, and when things get complex, it becomes overwhelming and all consuming. And then you end up focusing on, in on things that you shouldn't. And so I think like, you know, having this summit and learning all these things and having so many great speakers, you'll be very inspired to move forward and take action on things. And, uh, but you can maybe quickly get lost in all of the, go all the goodness. And so stepping back and asking yourself, okay, what can I apply? And like, how can I make this simple? You know, and how can I move forward with this? And just keeping that just every day, you know, when you're, when you're doing your projects, when you're thinking, thinking about business, keeping things simple, and then that will just clear your mind and allow you to do the best work that you can do. Mm. It's taking the path of least resistance. It's yeah. just like, oh. I know, it's just, isn't it human nature? We just, I don't know it what it is. Hard. We just try and make things hard for ourselves. <laughs> and, and I don't know why. And so I consciously have to ask myself so that, you know, some people may be able to just wing it and go through life and make things simple. I'm not that person. Uh, so I have to think about it. But I think, I feel like a lot of people can relate to me. So... You know, that's, that's really my one thing that you could start doing today.